the color of transitional zone in the color must be smooth. Color is this area, the area above the this transition zone. Because sometimes we can find a perfect mask color, a perfect head color, but we find find that the color suddenly changed to a yellowish or reddish color in this cooler. Cooler this the whole the whole neck area called cooler. It's an evidence of another species standards. Let's let's look about this bird. I don't want to say it's Bursonatus. It's another another species of eyrinx. We find the mask, the head. And the back of the head have the same color. Suddenly, the color end and start another transition zone. So we can never we we cannot accept this phenomena in in fisheries. Fisheries, the color faded smoothly. This and. To the to the man. So the co the color of the transitional zone in the cooler must be smooth, not end suddenly and start another color area. The presence of a spotted red cetacean on the side of the neck and the back of the head it also is a fault let's, let's take a look about this pair we found we find a good mask a good transition zone to the lower chest as uh, what we said bronze dark olive green color faded backward and suddenly we find a red spotted or red cetacean in the back of the neck This is this is a, a fault. It means that this bird still have some genes from another species. The separation between neck and chest color must be well defined and run from wing bends to wing bends. The separation between mouth color and lower chest or between orange area and the green area must run from this shoulder to the other shoulder this line 
must run smoothly. Not a zigzag. If we find a not well defined line, it's also a fault. The band of the, for the forehead must be white. To the height of the center of the eyes. As we said before, we can uh, draw by our eyes. A line must start from the crown, the top of the head. This line drawn downwards to the middle of the eyes. to the middle of the cheeks till this uh, this line must reach the wing bends. Sometimes we find what we call most of what we call uh, stress bars. Stress bars, it's, it's happened, this phenomenon happens when the, the, the birds uh, suffer from some stress during uh, molting or during uh, weaning, we find a black marks on the wings. So the black store, uh, spots or stripes in the feather are fault. Feather must be shiny, must be green, must be waxy. The, di the diagonal marking on the large tail feather are almost completely covered by the und undesired and upper tail coverts. So, as we said, that uh, we can imagine that the, the tail uh, will cover from the both sides, the upper side by a tail, the upper tail coverts, the lower side by the lower tail coverts. We cannot see the marking uh, of the tail unless we make it like a fan. But when the, the bird uh, stands freely, we only see the upper side and the lower side of the coverts, tail coverts. As we said, the beak must be waxy and must be shiny red. Well, the waxy layer of the beak is white and not damaged. This area, it is where the cell which form the beak must be white, must be waxy, must not be damaged. I bought this uh, diagram to, uh, I can give it to Jireen or uh, any friend. If we, uh, if anyone want to know the scientific parts of the, of the, or the body parts of the, of the birds. The ear, the forehead, the crown, the eyes, the eye ring, the cheeks, the head, the nap. It's good. Uh, the gram explain all the body parts.
we almost say the most common features we must uh, focus on when selecting or breeding uh, our birds. And uh, let's uh, judge together about some photos. I had a question uh, from uh, a friend that uh, why we must keep uh, wild type birds. We, now we are we are seeing a wild type color. But is it a, a a kind of birds that we can keep or, or we can breed. We have a rule in in most of uh, maybe bird species. What is the direction of selection? How can we select? How can we de develop our birds? We have only one rule, or the most important rule. It is select to the head. First, you have to select the head shape, the head, the head drawing, the head size, the head beauty. and all will come automatically the all body parts will come automatically let's take a look to this pair although it's a wild color although it has a good transition zones although it is follow the standards of fishery but look at the head It's, it's have a very ugly, very ugly beak. What is what is the meaning of uh, select to the head? Selection to the head. We have two 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 ways to select. Uh, color selection and physical selection. The more beauty birds. Which, which the birds I don't see the lower mandible. The chin feather must cover this mandible. Like what we see here. Almost the, the lower mandible disappear. It is very narrow. The head is very small. If we have a ratio between beak and head, it is not accepted ratio. So what we expect after this ugly head, we will find also an ugly body. The color is more brighter, brighter than green standard. What, what we expect. The the, the muscle mass, the total muscle mass of the bird is is very. Is, it, it, it we can call the the size of this bird is small. Although it is a wild type. So uh, I'll answer uh, this question early. <coughs> Meaning of keeping a, a wild type color. I can uh, change this uh, question to uh, keeping basic colors, maybe in green or blue, but I, we need uh, 
a standard genetic pool that is will be the base in my avery the base of my bloodline uh, can you imagine that uh, this bird on the screen will be the the, the grandparent of the whole birds in your avian. What do you expect in the next generation from a bird like this?